All right, Shalom, Shalom. Once again, it's the brother Shamar War of the GMS Raleigh, North Carolina camp. Coming back with another lesson. Before I go any further, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yeah, I will by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem and Kakwadash. Next up, honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me the 100% truth, according to the King James Bible, as well as the Apocrypha. And double Shalom to the brothers going on the highways and the byways. And do this video lesson to feed the full of light. All right. It's just a quick lesson on, you know, seek the Lord, you know. And just go ahead and jump into it, you know. <clears throat> this is Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1. It says, remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. And, you know, it's speaking to the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the true Hebrew Israelites, according to the Bible, you know. And it's telling you to remember your creator now, you know, not later, but now, you know, time sensitive, urgent, you know, right now. It says, while the evil days come not, you know, we're already in the time of Jacob's trouble, but you know, all hell hasn't break loose. You know, there's still time for, uh, you know, uh, um, to turn back to the heavenly father, you know, and come upon his good graces, you know. By way of um, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, you know, being brotherly, you know, doing the things that please the Heavenly Father. And, you know, ultimately just putting off this world and the carnal things that it promotes, you know, the wickedness. And, you know, come up underneath Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shine, seek the spiritual things that pertain unto life. All right, and it says, Ecclesiastes 12 and 1, remember now thy creator. In the days of thy youth, remember Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai as a young man, you know, while you stay out there strengthening you, you know, to do the work, go out in the highways and the byways, you know. It says, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them, you know. When Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai ultimately, you know, pretty much rejects you. Rejects you because you know you took your time. You didn't seek the Lord. You know when it was um <clears throat> when it was a uh, beneficial to you. You know, and this is a uh, First Chronicles chapter sixteen verse ten. It says, "Glory ye in the name. Let the hearts of them rejoice that seek Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai." You know, glory, you know, how we're going to glory in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, by doing the work, you know, giving all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know, because he called us into, you know, this, uh, this, this light, this truth, you know, so, you know, we're giving all praises unto his name, you know, and everything we do, you know, all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, to the edification and glory of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know. And it says, let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord, you know. And, you know, to rejoice is to have, you know, great delight in joying. And that word heart is talking, it goes back to the Hebrew word lab, which means your mind. So let your mind have great joy or delight, you know, <clears throat> in the fact that you're seeking the Lord by getting into these scriptures, you know, by way of these scriptures, you know, reading, studying. You know, being built up, you know, teaching, you know, applying these scriptures, you know, uh, refraining from, you know, the things that are unpleasing and unclean, you know, thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, and doing what is pleasing, you know, <clears throat> unto the Lord, you know. And it says, seek ye, I mean, seek Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in his strength, seek his face continually. You know, so it's constantly, you know, there's no breaks, you know. You know, you're not taking your hand off the plow, but you know, you're constantly seeking the Lord. You're constantly doing things to please the Lord, you know. <clears throat> whether it will, you know, <clears throat> you know, whether it be edifying the body, where it may be, um, you know, um, disciplining yourself, you know, examining yourself, you know, uh, you know, abstaining from, um, uh, um, um, Abstaining from, you know, worldly things and, you know, just ultimately just, you know, being obedient, serving in the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, doing what is asked of you. <coughs> this is Isaiah 
chapter 55, verse 6. It says, Seek ye, Yahubashim Yahushai, while he may be found. And how are you going to seek Yahubashim Yahushai? You know, through his men, which are on the highways and the byways. And, you know, they doing these video lessons to edify you, you know, build you up. You know, build up that faith and build up that uh that knowledge, the thing that we're gonna need to stand the um the spiritual uh the spiritual things and the strength that we're gonna need to stand on and you know the day of Jacob's trouble. It says, Call ye upon him while he is near. You know, this is the Lord is near unto uh, you know, the ones that seek him, you know. It says in James, I believe it says, um, draw nigh to the Lord, and the Lord will draw nigh into you, you know. But um, pretty much, yeah, um, <clears throat> you know, call upon the Lord while he is near. You know, you have to have the correct names, you know. Yeah, how he is, Bahashim, in the name of Yahweh Shai, he saves and he delivers. Those are the names that you got to call on in order to see the salvation, you know. And um, <clears throat> I'm just going to a few more scriptures. This is um, Sirach chapter 5, verse 7. You know, it says, Make no tarry to turn to the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, don't take all day, you know, but it's time sensitive, it's urgent, you know. Sooner or later, this um, this message, you know, the, the prophecies is not going to be on. Um, is not going to be at your disposal, you know. You're not going to have that uh that this uh hidden manner, you know, which is is hidden unto them that uh the Lord doesn't want. But for those that are seeking it, you know, don't tarry, you know. If the Lord put it on your spirit to seek Him, you know, don't tarry. And it says, and putting out off from day to day, you know, don't you know why why. You know, while the evil days come not, you know, seek the Lord daily. You know, it said that in the scripture before, seek him continually. It says, and the reason why, for suddenly shall the wrath of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh come forth. And that wrath is that righteous anger. And that righteous anger, you know, um, <clears throat> the ultimate judgment will be these um these uh, arrows, you know, these continental the continental interballistic missiles, you know, thermal nuclear fire, you know, the ultimate judgment, the wrath of the Yahweh Bashim Shah. And it says, and in thy securities thou shalt be destroyed, you know, because it says in um <clears throat> Second Peter 3 and 10, you know, what matter of conversation are we to be in? Understand, well, roughly paraphrasing, you know, understanding that, you know, everything is going to be dissolved, you know, it's going to be burnt up with fire, you know. So uh, seek the Lord, cause your security is gonna be destroyed. You know, the things that you uh that you uh rely upon, if it's not Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, and <clears throat> ultimately it says, and perish in the day of vengeance, and that vengeance is uh you know surely uh, approaching. You know, every day is a day closer to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's righteous judgment. That vengeance, you know, and um. Pretty much uh, ended off on these scriptures right here. This is Amos 8 and 11. It says, Behold, the days come, say of Yahweh power, that I will send a famine in the land. You know, a famine being a lack of something, you know. And the lack that we're talking about in the resource that we're talking about is this edification, this knowledge, wisdom, understanding, you know. It says, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know, hearing the words of the Israelites' uh, power, you know, that guidance, you know, it's going to be, you know, <clears throat> it's going to be a famine of that. You ain't going to be able to catch that, you know. You ain't going to have nothing to stand upon. You ain't going to have that rock, of, you ain't going to have that solid rock, that foundation, you know. And it says, verse 12, and there shall and they shall wonder from sea to sea. You know, you're gonna be wondering from the uh, Atlantic to the Pacific, you know, <clears throat> and from north even to the east, you know, from the bottom of the map to the top of the map, you know, 
They shall run to and fro to seek the words of Yahweh and shall not find it. You know, why? Because the Lord is going to remove his prophets, you know, when all hell breaks loose. He's not going to suffer his prophets to be caught up in that damnation, in that chaos, you know. The Lord is going to protect his men in that day, you know. It says in Isaiah, his men shall, uh, his men shall eat, but you shall be hungry. His men shall drink, but you shall be thirsty, you know. His men going to sing for joy of heart. You know, but two thirds, you know, they're going to um, they're going to be in um, 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 in agony, you know, because they ain't take the time to seek you out. Bashmi, I was shy while he was near, you know, <clears throat> and, you know, Lord's willing. This lesson was edifying, you know, it's basically on seeking the Lord, seeking the heavenly father. If you're a so-called Negro, Latino, Native American whose seed line goes back to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, you know. Well, before I go any further, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, and Kakwadash. Next, double honor to the Apostle the Elders of Great Millstone, taught me the one percent truth according to the King James Bible. Double shalom to the brothers going to the highways and the byways, and do these build lessons to feed the old full of light. You know, until next time, I say shalom, wa